must wake up. Initiated independent activity. I need some guidance here. Can anybody hear me? Calm yourself. The subject cannot be allowed unrestricted movement. Flood the room with tranquilizing gas. Yes, sir. What? What is this place? Uh -huh. Why am I in this uniform? Hello. I'm excited to share that my first video, Activate, has received great reviews and has reached over 100 views in just two days. It's also good to hear after the release that activate from commenters and messages that I'm helping some of my viewers and working on these YouTube videos and doing the hangouts is also helping me in return. So thank you again viewers and commentators. In this video I want to describe the story behind the name Cyborg009 and why I chose this name and how we can use the information from the anime Cyborg 009 series here for everyone. Everyone has created a unique username and what's a username without the background for its creation. The anime version of Cyborg 009 was created by my favorite studio Toei Animation, the same studio that has produced great works such as Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Fist of the North Star. These older animes were the greatest of their time and they still are. This was a time before the majority of anime was targeted for female audiences. It had science fiction, action, blood, and it was okay to have um, the animation level uh, at a certain level as long as the story was well developed. In Cyborg 009 story, nine regular humans are kidnapped by the evil black ghost organization and undergo horrific human experiments which create 900 model cyborgs each with a unique superhuman cyborg power the nine cyborgs band together to fight for their freedom stop black ghost organizations goal to start the next global war and attempt thing while attempting to deal with alienation and issues of becoming cyborgs and to rediscover aspects of their humanity lost during the transformation uh, process to cyborgs. The Black Ghost organization was planning to launch the next world global war by supplying rich buyers with countless numbers of weapons of mass destruction from cyborgs to robots and advanced technology to be used for war and while well, Black Ghost makes uh, money off of every purchase. Cyborg 009 was the most advanced out of the nine cyborgs, but all of them had useful abilities that complemented each other and protected any of their vulnerabilities. This first episode has 009 awakening after the cyborg implants and transformation has been completed. He does not even know he is a cyborg at first and what has happened. He is stronger, faster, and now he's angry and afraid and that he may have forgotten what his life was like before the cyborg alterations. He has only fragments of his previous memories and is afraid that he does not understand what's going on, what has been done to him. In 009's attempt to escape Black Ghost compound and meet with the other liberated cyborgs, the Black Ghost robots, men that will do anything for money and other authorities try to kill him in the, the escape process. He's also tested in the escape process by liberated cyborg 001 and the other liberated cyborgs and when they eventually um, meet officially they form a team, a family, a brotherhood when they and even when the humans tried to kill the liberated cyborgs the cyborgs ref 
refuse to kill the humans even if they have the capacity capacity to do so. One of the reasons for not killing the humans was they only escaped Black Ghost compound because of a few human scientists and doctors that grew a conscious and did not want to cause any more harm to people or cyborgs and re and any innocent life forms rebelled against black ghosts and helped the cyborgs escape one of them that survived became their mentor or a type of father figure as the zero zero cyborgs fought black ghosts while also trying to understand their past lives their life as a cyborg I watched this anime a lot when I was younger and I also read the manga or manga we can take so many messages from this story and apply it to real life here. For those that are familiar with my story in my previous video, you know I can relate to 009's awakening and escape process. I woke up one day and a group of people in white coats said I was sick and I had these medical problems. They ran all these painful tests and said I needed an electronic device to simulate one of my uh, internal organs and sometimes the device does not work properly and I have to reconnect the bio connections I know I now know what it's like to have parts of my mechanical body to betray me and what did adding a machine to my body do to my humanity and this is just how the zero zero cyborgs have their limitations with their cyborg powers and they also work on rediscovering their humanity and uh, deal with the alienation caused by the new limitations and medical enhancements. For me, it's just not as cool as uh, laser beams and superhuman speed. I don't did not know how much internal strength was required and how much I would be tested to what I thought was a limit to live with these medical problems or what they could do to me in outside of the hospital. How are these medical experiences going to change my interactions with the outside world? Will they change my personal interactions? Would people perceive me differently? And would it affect my mind? It did affect every aspect of my life, and it was very hard to reach the level I am at now and to relearn some of the aspects of my humanity that was stripped away in the process. And it's still something I have to work on internally, and it's probably something I'll still have to work on as long as, as I'm able to. I talked to many doctors and medical professionals and still cannot understand all and everything that has been done and what the outcome would be. Many of them had a god complex and thought they could play god with my body and if they failed or succeeded they did not show if they cared. They did not have the camaraderie of the zero zero cyborgs or someone like zero zero one that has already survived this a similar process and even if the camaraderie was forced by external stimuli. I went looking for it. I was able to find some camaraderie, camaraderie the cyborgs had by talking to other men with health problems. Some friends I met at school, a few doctors uh, that actually showed that they cared. A previous job with just male coworkers, and recently now some MGTOW channels. I was able I was I was devastated devastated that I was forced out of that job with just male coworkers, but I'll save some of the other stories for other videos. We can use this information from the cyborgs for men in MGTOW here. We we all seem to have some reason and very commonly some type of trauma has brought us together here we can use that chain of trauma and turn it into a lifeline. We all need the unity and camaraderie of the 00 cyborgs here and the 900 model cyborgs 
did not agree with each other on everything either. For example, 002 wanted revenge badly and uh, needed to learn to control his temper and work with the team. However, since he, he could not fight all Black Ghost's weapons himself, he got damaged in the process. For him, it's a simple fix. Just repair this part or replace a component. If one of us gets damaged, it's a bit harder to repair and sometimes we can't even get back up. We can also use how their different abilities complement and protect each other. And I think we're starting to do that here in MGTOW. We all come from different backgrounds and skill sets and we're joining together by making videos, creating hangouts, and creating sort of a support group and helping each other out when we, if we can and talking about subjects most people do not talk about. I encourage anyone that's interested to watch Cyborg 009 and you can find it free here on YouTube. The anime has a lot of messages and maybe if we can use some of the references from Cyborg 009 here. What do you guys think? Uh, should I add um, more references from Cyborg 009 uh, storyline? and? If you are familiar with Cyborg 09 already, what's your favorite Cyborg? I have narrowed it down to three. If I had to choose, uh, it would be my favorites are 009, 004, and 007. Let us all find wise counsel and inner peace to prepare us to interact with a hostile world.